Alphabet is laying off employees from several teams in Google's cloud unit. Google cutting hundreds of jobs. We understand that Google is also going to be laying off more people. And Google has announced another round of layoffs with more than 700 people being let go. Tech giant planning to slash 12,000 jobs just days after Microsoft made its own cuts. Python is dead. Who needs to learn Python? I heard all this on the news. Therefore, it must be true. Yeah, it's true. Google laid off over 4,000 Python employees. But today, I'm going to share with you guys six reasons why Python is not dead and it's not going away. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, guys, for another episode of Code with Josh. For obvious reasons, I'm Josh. and I'm stoked that you guys could join for today's episode. Do me a favor, before I jump into the episode, hit that like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. That really does help me as a growing channel. So thank you. All right, hit the like button and let's dive in. Why are we here? We know it's true Google laid off their team of Python devs and they moved their core units over to Germany. But today we're looking at why Python's not going away anytime soon. It's not dead. And I want to show you why. Guys, real quick before I dive into the episode as well, the links below I have for you guys. I have almost daily content coming out over on my blog, The Nerd Nook. That's where I write my Python newsletter. And it's meant to build on everything we're learning here and take you guys through from A to Z surrounding topics you guys care about. And if you want to support the channel, I do have a premium version of that. Head on over and check it out and you guys will get a free trial and I'll put below a, a lifetime discount for my premium newsletter. All right. I write that for us. So check it out. Let me know your thoughts. Drop a comment on today's video if you think I missed anything and let's dive into why we're out here. Python's not going away. Let's find out why. Let's face it, Python is one of the most versatile programming languages out there. It can do just about anything. So anything you're imagining that you want to spin up could be a website, it could be a game, it could be a machine learning model. We could be using frameworks like Django or Flask for our web development techniques. Or with data science, we have frameworks like Pandas or Matplotlib. And where Python really shines nowadays is AI, using technologies like TensorFlow, or PyTorch. Now, is it going to be amazing or is it the most optimized language for your needs? Maybe not. There are other languages out there, but you can spin just about anything up using Python thanks to its versatility. All right, into number two. This really takes me into the second reason why Python's not dead, is its ease of learning. This really carries on from number one. And you know me here on this channel, Code with Josh. I make content dedicated at Educator, helping you guys learn Python and all the tools that come with it, right? So Python, because it's so similar to English, this is my favorite reason actually, right? It's a great tool for learning programming because programming is really two things. You have coding and coding is a small part of it, but you really need to hone in your logical thinking skills, right? So Python is a great language because it uses such similar syntax to English that it really allows you to gain a depth and understanding of all the problem solving skills we need. Now, despite the Google layoffs, the demand for Python is growing more than ever because all of our sectors can really use Python from healthcare to finance to education. There's a space for Python there. If we check out the Google trends here and we just jump in and go Python as a programming language and we can check the Google trend rates and we can see if I'm going to go back here actually like the last five years and there is a growing demand, if not a steady demand for Python. And you can see here the daily rate. It hasn't died down, right? There are key spikes in it. With all the technologies out there, okay, it's not going away. We need developers to maintain these systems. If we go to Indie Jobs to check for Python jobs, you can see there's over 40,000 listings. And I'm on the US version, scrolling down for days to find all these jobs. One of the really good things with Python is its community and documentation that goes with it. Really just about everything in Python is super well documented to help you understand. In the communities that are surrounding it as well, well, they're ever growing. In fact, the largest community on LinkedIn is the Python developers community, right? This community I'm a part of, there's over 2 million members in this space. 
right? So if you're wondering, is there a lack of a Python community? Is it dead? Well, that's the largest group, right? We have resources like extensive GitHub repos or Stack Overflow. All giving another reason why Python's not going away anytime soon. This brings me to my final reason, which is really emerging technologies. Wait, think about this. Where were we as a society 10 years ago? And where are we now with all this developing emerging tech, especially in the field of AI? Python is a key player in emerging technologies just like AI, machine learning, and data science. And if you're interested in these fields, Python is the way to go. Well guys, there you had it. Six reasons why Python's not dead. It's not going away anytime soon, all right? Today's episode was a little bit different and I actually had a lot of fun putting together that intro. Um, a bit more creative side of that. Let me know your thoughts, drop comments. What are other reasons you think Python's not going away? And I know everyone says AI, AI, but let's face it, AI can't program mass scale applications yet. And we still need to maintain our current systems we have. We should be knowing that. Well, guys, do me a favor. Hit that like button. All right, if you're here this far, you haven't liked it. What are you doing? And subscribe, okay? Sounds like you enjoyed the video. You're still here, right? I will see you in next week's episode of Code with Josh. Until then, Python crew.